So my name is Seth Char and I'm the CEO and shareholder of Iconia Capital LLC. Uh, we are a 100% American owned and managed uh, real estate investment company operating in Tbilisi, Georgia. And today I'd like to discuss uh, and answer some questions about what is our situation today? What are our plans for our business? And what do we need to do in order to make it happen? So first, a little bit of background information about the situation. So it's no secret that we've had tremendous challenges getting this business going and started in Tbilisi. The main culprit has been a group of neighbors, uh, approximately three to five people actually, a small group of neighbors uh, living near our construction site and land. And these people have significant business, financial and personal interest. They've been trying to get me out of my own land and take it over so that they can apply with the government to modify their own construction coefficient. And what that means in layman terms is that they have overbuilt on their own building, they've added two floors illegally, and they think that by taking over my land and absorbing it, that they can petition the government to transform the status of their building from illegal, dangerous construction into legal construction. Okay? So they have that, that personal interest that's been verified already. Also, some of the, our opponents, uh, including Ms. Bitskinashvili and Mr. Kakiani, they have business interest in construction activities here in Tbilisi. It's not a secret that my land is known to be one of the best locations in Tbilisi for building multifunctional apartments and offices. So it's a little bit suspicious that they, who are also involved in construction, are attacking me so much, all right? And besides the political interest, again, it's been verified and noted that these people have the support of several Georgian judges that have been accused of corruption and cited for corruption in the past. They have the, the support of a person, an, an individual, who is literally an ex-judge from the Chevronatse era and who is an ex-member of the Georgian Communist Party. All right, so there's a lot of political intrigue involved with these people in their attack against us as well. So we have, um, we have a very good relationship with the government right now, and uh, they've actually been supporting us for the past several years in several ways. Uh, our opponents have been attempting to sue us in the courts. They have been suing the city hall to stop our construction and to cancel our legally issued and confirmed construction permit. And the city hall has been very good by sending their professional lawyers alongside ours to help to protect our project, our business, and our construction permission in the court. And in fact, in 2020, um, our opponents who tried suing us appealed it all the way to the Georgian Supreme Court, where the Georgian Supreme Court issued a final binding decision about the entire case and about the entire situation. And the Georgian Supreme Court has confirmed and verified that we have done nothing wrong in Georgia. We have followed Georgian law to the T. So it's already been clear from the courts that the courts of Georgia and the Tbilisi City Hall have been supporting us, our position for the past years. They have verified and confirmed that what we're doing and our business plans are totally legal, totally safe, and totally okay. And it came to a head in 2020 when uh, we won in the Georgian courts. We won in the first instance. Our opponents were not happy with that. They wanted a hurt and harass us further. So they went ahead and appealed it to the second instance and from there they appealed it to the Supreme Court of the land, the Supreme Court of Georgia, where they ruled, they ruled that Iconia Capital LLC, our investors, have not done anything wrong. We have never done anything wrong. We've always followed Georgian law to the T. Whenever there's any kind of requirement from the Tbilisi City Hall, we are the first to make sure that that requirement is done in a timely fashion and done fully to the satisfaction of the construction regulators and authorities. So the, the Georgian Supreme Court has ruled that our construction permit and our business, it's legal, it's valid, and that the arguments against us by our enemies and our opponents in the court are completely invalid and completely without any merit whatsoever. So now I'd like to talk about the 1994 Georgia-US Bilateral Investment Treaty. Uh, it is a document still in force, signed by the leadership of both Georgia and the United States, President Chevron Nancy and Bill Clinton in the 90s. This document governs the relationship and treatment that investors must have in both respective countries. 
So in other words, it covers how the US government should take care of Georgian investors operating in America and how, and conversely, how the Georgian government should be dealing with, managing, and taking care of American investors in this country. So the Bilateral Investment Treaty gives certain guarantees and insurances for Americans operating in Georgia, right? It's right there in the document. There are three major rights that are guaranteed to us by this document. The first one is a guarantee from the government of security and protection about our business, our projects, and our staff against interference, harassment, and criminal activity and corruption by third parties. The second guarantee has to do with discrimination. If uh, we have a, a problem in court, or if we have court cases like we have and, and still do, um, we, have to have, uh, we have to have treatment by the court system which does not have any kind of discrimination. In other words, we have to be treated on an equal and even playing field as other companies having the same situation as ours in Georgia. And the third guarantee has to do with guarantees about expropriation. Um, the Georgian government or even a third party cannot just expropriate or take away our business or stop us from doing our business as long as we're following the law. Any violation of these guarantees under the treaty uh, requires significant penalties and financial compensation to be paid to us by the government to make our investors whole. So I'd like to conclude by talking about what kind of individuals have been attacking us and harassing us and quite frankly trying to defraud us for the past years. And I also want to end the conversation with a discussion of what are our plans uh, and what are we going to do next, all right? So there are four individuals that have behaved in certain ways that are very curious and very interesting for us uh, during their attacks upon our, our company and our investors. So there were two Georgian judges, former Georgian judges now, but they were active in the past, and they made certain statements against me and my company that were quite disturbing. Uh, a former member of the Georgian Supreme Court, Georgi Shavliashvili, has come out and in a meeting with me in City Hall he threatened the city hall and told them, if you allow the Americans to continue their business, I will make you pay a price because do you know who I am? I am a judge. He said that in front of me and eight witnesses in 2015. Then there's Judge Nazi Aronia, who is originally a Chevron Nazi judge, and she is a former member of the Georgian Communist Party, all right, who is trying to kick out American business in Georgia, who has done nothing wrong and has broken no laws. But she has been very vocal, in fact, threatening me on a recording in the court, threatening me that she will physically attack us if we try to do our business and our construction. The third person is, of course, Maya Bitskinashvili, who is known to be a co-owner of a company that is an exclusive distributor for many Russian products and who has confirmed business ties with several companies in Russia. Uh, I believe that it's very uh, inappropriate for Bitskinashvili to be attacking us during these times, uh, during the time of conflict in Ukraine, and also looking at her past and her company's past of having conflict with a Ukrainian investor, also here in Georgia. And fourth is Marab Kahiani, who owns a tour company, and he was uh, put on the record by saying that. Um, by stating that he wishes for more Russian visitors and immigration to Georgia because it would help him personally in his business. So there's a lot of um, interesting characters with, with a very suspicious foreign ties who have been moving very aggressively against us. And I will close now by saying that um, what are we gonna do, okay? The only thing we can do, the only thing that we've been forced to do is that we are going to be building this project and finishing it within our own deadlines with every way possible. We have every right to be doing what we are doing and, and working in Georgia. And we are gonna fight till the end. This business will be finished and concluded, hell or high water, I guarantee you. Company Iconic Capital Map, you know, the Chamber of Business Neighbor, Totalis, Miris Architecture, Samsung, who is going to order to meet Els Miro, Tumsa, Adlo Brevis Mir, Calco Sarchelis, Shesabamisad. Kisus Nishis Kosik and Ebuli, Agnishu Nebertoa, Ta Amasmok as a summer process. Roman Principi Zeldevoda Orsas Ots Lamde, Ta Tasulda, Uzenes as a summer Loshi, Iconic Capitalis, Sargiblot. 
თუმცა ამის მიუხედავად სასამართლო პროცესები კვლავ გძელდება იმ იმ მიმართულებით რომ კვლავ იქნას დაყენებული და კვლავ იქნას ხელშეშლილი აიქონე კაპიტალის პროექტის განხორციელება. რაც შეეხება იმ ადამიანთა ჯგუფს რომლებიც წლების განმავლობაში ხელს უშლიდნენ და დღემდე უშლიან მშენებლობის დაწყებას, ესენი გახლავთ ადამიანები რომლებიც პრინციპში უკვე ცნობილია რომ გარკვეულ შემოსავალს იღებენ რუსეთის რუსული ბიზნესიდან გაუდინარე და არსებობს საჯარო პოზიციონირება ერთ-ერთი ერთ-ერთი იქ ცხოვრების და ყოველი ამის ორგანიზატორის რომ იგი მიესალმება და ხელს უწყობს რუსული კაპიტალის შემოდინებას და ასევე რუსული რუსი ტურისტების საქართველოში შემოსვლას. ქალბატონი ბიცკინაშვილი კი უშუალოდ არის ჩართული რუსული ბრენდირებული პროდუქტების საქართველოში გასაღებით და ამით რუსეთის ბიუჯეტის დაფინანსებით. თუმცა პარალელურად მშენებლობის მოწინააღმდეგეები კვლავ აგძელებენ აღნიშნულ კამპანიას და ჩვენ კიდევ გვაქვს საჭილი სასამართლოში მშენებლობის ნებართვის საწინააღმდეგოდ. მაგრამ დღეს გომარეობით აღნიშნული საჭილი ვეღარ აფერხებს მშენებლობის ნებართვას და როგორც ვახსენე იგი კვლავ ძალაშია. აღნიშნული კამპანიის ორგანიზატორები და ძირითადი წარმომავლები ძირითადად გახლავან ორი ადამიანი, ერთ-ერთი გახლავს ბატონი კახიანი, ხოლო მეორე ხალტონი ბიცკინაშვილი, რომლებიც პირდაპირ არიან ჩართული რუსული კომპანიების საქართველოს საქმიანობით. მათ შორის ხალტონი ბიცკინაშვილი გახლავთ იმპორტიორი რუსული ბრენდების, რომლებიც რეალიზებული არის საქართველოში და რომლის მეშვეობითაც ხდება რუსეთის ბიუჯეტში პირდაპირ თანხების შეტანა და გადარიცხვა.